Good morning everyone, my name's Adam. This is Friday Sews, being filmed on a Saturday because of, that's just what happens in life. So I will see you all in a second once I've rolled this. Right, so this week has been mad hectic. I had one day off this week, I've started my new job, it's all going really well, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I didn't really get much time to sew though, which is a bit of a downer. Um, but I did get one thing done. On Thursday I had a day off, which is when I should have been filming my Friday sews, but I got carried away making a quilt for the Ukraine um, quilt campaign that we're doing through Fabrics by Penny Community Group on Facebook. So I will insert a picture of the finished quilt here. This, I literally went through my orphan block, my orphan block box and all of my offcuts of jelly roll strips I've made from other fabrics and different things. And I just thought, you know what? They all go together, they're all the same fabrics. Just sew the whole lot together, make a quilt top, done. And it literally came out exactly the same size as what it needed to be, which was really handy. I had just enough to get it to a 36 by 48 inch quilt. And then I just did some zigzag, um, very, very wide because the new Benina does a nine millimeter stitch width. I did some nine millimeter zigzag stitch in the ditch either side. So it basically zigzagged over the stitch lines from where I made the quilt top. So the other thing that I made was a pair of ovening, uh, ovening gloves? No, oven gloves which are made from 100% cotton canvas with pheasants on there. Um, and they are quilted with some heat wadding inside. Um, these are made for some new neighbours that have moved in, but I haven't actually got to meet them yet. So I haven't been able to give them to them yet. And it's kind of a case of, is it gonna be something they're actually gonna like? So we'll soon see. Um, the other thing that happened this week was I, actually, just quickly, I was watching Jen's Friday shows yesterday, because obviously yesterday was Friday, today is Saturday, I'm filming this on Saturday, and she said about plants in her sewing room. So, the one plant that I have in my sewing room, which I am forced to have in my sewing room because my husband is plant mad, is this one, which is from Ikea, well, this one isn't from Ikea. You can buy them in Ikea for exactly the same plant. They're about, I imagine, if they're the same in the States as what they are here, they're about six or seven dollars. Um, but this lives next to my ironing station. It has elephant ear shaped leaves, which are very waxy. And Jen, if you want a plant that you can't kill in your sewing room, this is the one because it lives next to my iron, so it just basically lives off the steam generated from my iron. And I don't water it, because I don't really want it in here. But it is pretty. So, this is an alocasia, if you're looking for a plant that doesn't die. So you don't have to water it, you don't have to do anything to it really, other than wipe the leaves down when they collect too much dust. Talking of dust, there's a big clump of it on the bottom of it. Um, so other than that, I got a Bit of a fabric haul this week. Oh, I shouldn't have done. Um, so I got some... I didn't have these two. These are the only dots and stripes in the colours that I didn't have. So these are the mustard and pale pink. I got three fat quarters of... No, I think they're actually half metres of the diamond shaped print, which I can't remember what it's called now. I got some of the tape measure one which is part of the homemade range which was the only one out of the homemade that I didn't have and then I got the bloom and I might have accidentally ordered the lime green and yellow of this as well which might accidentally get delivered over the next few days um but this came from the unicorn quilter if you are in the UK and you like Tudor pig fabrics and she's also got some Moda fabrics and she's got some Dashwood studios as well it is all on a minimum of 25% off this weekend only. It's The sale finishes tomorrow because she's shutting her shop. Um, she's absolutely lovely, Elaine, that runs it. Um, she's also on Instagram under Elaine Mork Embroidery, I believe. And she also has an account under Unicorn Quilter, which I will imagine will be inactive once she shuts the shop on Sunday. So I will link that below. 
if you want to go and get any Tudor Pink fabric, it's the cheapest I've ever seen in the UK um, with the discounts that have been applied at the moment. So obviously because she had that as well, she updated her page on Monday and she had a few pieces of Tudor Pink hardware left, which have all gone now because I bought nearly all of them. Um, so they turned up as well and I've now got the snips, which all of these are in the oil slick. I've got the Swedish tweezers with the rubber grips, the stitch ripper, which is basically just a scalpel, um, which is really, really good for getting in and ripping seams open. Um, but I also struggle to get the lid on that. And I got the six inch straight scissors, which are really good for cutting the ends off um, jelly rolls if you've got like overhangs on jelly rolls or selvages on jelly rolls and stuff like that so besides that that is pretty much oh stab myself with the seam ripper that's always a handy start to the day that's pretty much it today is the day that my parents are coming down because yesterday was my husband's birthday so we are going to be having a meal today um and that's about it really so I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone's had a nice week. I will try and get some sewing in this week, which I don't think I'm going to do, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all soon. Take care. And Jen, remember, it's an alocasia if you are a plant that you can't kill because I kill all the plants that are in this room because I have too much time to sew, not enough time to look after plants. <laughs> anyway, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.